So, Mark, it was a must-win game. You won it in style, 6-1, uh, three centuries and a break of 98 at the end. Yeah, I'm very happy with the way I scored today. Uh, Not on made it a little easy for me at times, playing the safety. and He missed one or two when he was in, but he still had to pot the balls, and I'm very happy that I did that today. I'm guessing the race to the Crucible was very much on your mind there. Yeah, strangely, like I'm not one that normally follows the rankings too closely, but it's hard not to when it comes up to Sheffield time and people are always in your ear, you need to do this, you need to do that, you're going to have to qualify, and it's not a nice place to have to be, but look, it still might come to qualifying, but I'm in a far better position now after winning that first round match. There's a lot of prize money up for grabs this week. I guess, is that is that sort of a, a double-edged sword, really? Because there's, there's a lot of money for you to potentially win, but also a lot of leapfrogging going on as well. Yeah, there is, but that's what Barry likes at the end of the day. Do, does someone that wins here this week from low down the rankings deserve a spot in the World Championships? I don't think so. Uh, no, it's a, it's a two-year ranking, and no, you can't, just because this is a massive money tournament now, I don't think that's your warrant, squeezing out number 15 or 16 in the rankings, but... Well, that's what Barry likes. He likes creating stories, and if someone like number sixty in the rankings was to win this and finish number sixteen, you know, Barry will be laughing all the way to the bank. And you no, know, here is number sixteen. He'll be pushed out to seventeen, and they'll be crying their eyes out. Like that could well be me, but look, I'm here to win the China Open this week, and that, that's all I can concentrate on. That the rankings will take care of itself. Of course, earlier in the year we saw you winning the, winning the Masters and playing incredible snooker there. Um, it would be a nice time of the season for, for that form to, to return. Yeah, it would, and that, that felt a bit more like it today. Uh, that's as good as I've scored since the Masters, and it's it's nice to finally get a good win under my belt because Nopon's a very, very good player. He got to the semi final of the Welsh Open not so long ago, so it was a tough match to come here knowing you have to win, but I think that's a match that brought the best out of me. And Kurt Mafflin or Yan Bingtao next? Yeah, well, that's going to be like a gunslinging match like that one. Uh, both of them not renowned for their safety play and pop long balls for fun and score really heavy. So no matter who gets through, it's going to be an aggressive open game. And uh, I've beat Bingtai a few times this season. I uh, don't think I've ever played Kurt, believe it or not, in all the years we've been on tour. But Kurt's a good friend, so hopefully he can get through that and then one of us will progress the next round. Best of luck, Mark. Thank you.